It definitely is smelling good, and we've got Robbie here going to town, Alan as well from the Fort Condi Inn. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. And you're just making yourself right at home here, which is what we like. You've been cooking all morning long. What are you working on? Uh, it's our seafood eggs benedict that we do down at the end. It's a, uh, a griddled English muffin, uh, asparagus, and then it's topped with a poached egg and a sherry cream sauce across the top of it. All right, so what are you doing here? It's, I see you're about to get some stuff started. You got some shrimp in there, some, some crayfish, and some, what, what else we got? In shrimp there? and crawfish, and then uh, I've got the uh, English muffin grilling right now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after I get this going a little bit and sauteing the onions and the bell peppers and the shrimp, uh -huh. I'll add the crawfish to it like I have already mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of herbs to it. And, okay. uh, well, I tell you what, we've got all morning long to work on those things. We want to tell the folks about what's going on at the Fort Condi Inn and also how everyone's invited to come on out for brunch now. Talk to us about that, Alan. Yeah, we're going to have Sunday brunches uh, starting uh, Sunday, October 13th, open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have limited mimosas and Bloody Marys to bring you out. And then, of course, Very exciting. all of uh, Chef Robbie's wonderful creations, uh, desserts, homemade breads, muffins, uh, of course, seafood eggs benedict we're having today, mm -hmm. and a lot of other creations to bring people out from 11 to 2 on Sundays. 11 to 2. So that's kind of unique because this used to be with the people who were staying at the Ford County, and now they can enjoy it as well, but it's open to the public, too. Correct. Tell us a little bit about the Fort Condi Inn in general. Well, Fort Condi Inn is a uh, four diamond boutique hotel in downtown Mobile. Um, it's in the historic Fort Condi Village. That's been a revitalized area of downtown that we've been working on for quite a while. Um, we, uh, you know, have all the luxuries of like the Battle House and stuff like that, but more catering to our guests mm -hmm. with that boutique feel and style. Um, our rooms are more uh, luxurious feel. Um, and of course, you get the full gourmet breakfast each morning um, with your stay complimentary. Well, it's a great place. Whether you're from the area, it's a great just kind of uh, getaway for yourself if you want to take a little mini vacation there. Or if you're not from the area, it really will give you a taste of what Mobile is all about, if you say at the Fort Condi Inn. So you've been working away here. Where are we at in the process now? Okay. Well, I'm adding the uh, heavy cream to it right now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm going to tighten it up. I don't do uh, flour or anything like that because we have uh, different diets that people are on down there. So sure. I do it with a cornstarch. And just add a little bit of that to it. Tighten it up just a little bit. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, poach a little egg right here. Well, I tell you what, why don't we uh, take a little break and we got a lot more cooking to do. And Cherish can come back with you all in the next segment. You can continue to work on that and also talk about some of these other fantastic foods that you brought with us this morning. Excited to talk about that. Cherish? I hope you guys are hungry because we are making something good in the kitchen this morning. Chef Ravi and Alan joining us from Fort Condi Inn. And you're making a seafood eggs benedict. This right. is what smells so fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got my uh, seafood sherry cream sauce right here. Uh -huh. And what we're going to do is just we're going to build this. I've got the uh, griddled English muffin, uh -huh. griddled asparagus. Uh -huh. Okay. And then... Uh, I poach a thousand eggs. I hope this one's the one that turns out. But what is the trick to getting it where the yolk's not too hard, but where it's cooked? Uh, when you have it just a slight boil like this, a uh -huh. little salt, a little vinegar. Uh -huh. And then uh, that keeps it from uh, cracking and breaking on you. Vinegar? Uh huh. Yeah. That Vinegar's looks a... very good. And how long do you usually poach the egg? It only takes about a minute. See how it jiggles like that? Yeah. So you know it's ready. Yeah. And that'll be fine, just like that. That's oh, perfect. Oh, that looks good. Great for TV, huh? Yeah. And then we have the sauce that's <laughs> smelling seafood, so good. Yeah, the shrimp and uh, crawfish and the sherry cream sauce across the top of it. And there you go. Look at just that. Just like that. And uh, this that is what we great. feed our guests every morning. This looks great. This, things like this. What else do you guys have on the menu? Uh, pralines, bananas, foster Ooh. French toast. Ooh. That's our Southern Living. Uh, it was yeah. the Southern Living magazine. So it was, oh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Uh, crab, lump white crab meat omelets. Mm -hmm. uh, Sounds and then great. You, if you want a, a scrambled egg or just an omelet, I can put ham, mushrooms, spinach, grape tomatoes, cheese in there. 
Uh, wow, you're going to make sure our tummies are full because I'm thinking oh, yeah. I'm wanting some of this and some of the some of the bananas. Oh man, everything <laughs> sounds so good. So you can get this stuff at Fort Condien, and we were talking a little bit during the commercial break about Fort Condien, and I remember going in. This is what it looks like now. I don't know if you can get a really close shot. It's absolutely beautiful, and. This, when Fort Condi Village was being developed, I remember walking through this house in its former state. And there's the, there's a better picture of it, too. And the way it used to be. So give us some history. I mean, the feeling you get when you walk inside, something it's, else. It's a step back in, uh, you know, old mobile time. You know, the home was built in 1836. It's the second oldest home in the city. Um, Lawrence wow. Posner, the owner and developer, put $2.7 into just this building alone. He owns the entire village, but just this building alone. He wanted to bring back the Victorian character, the style, the feel, but with the modern amenities and luxuries of a boutique hotel. Yeah. Uh, started out as a bed and breakfast. We mm -hmm. expanded. We decided we wanted to do something new for Mobile mm -hmm. and made it more luxurious. And here we are today. And so we know you guys have great food. You do weddings. We do. We do weddings and special events. That's actually one of the biggest things that we do. Um, in the month of October, we have one almost every single weekend. Um, but oh. weddings, we do them all the time. Um, we do, you know, Christmas parties. Uh, if your firm has a uh, ready to have a Christmas party, we'd love to host that. Um, birthday parties, anything you can think of. Now, earlier I mentioned that you may want to think about staying if you're going down to Bayfest this weekend. Do you guys have any openings? Do you know if you still have any? It's just today I'm going to mention this. Okay. 20% uh, off for oh. Bayfest weekend if you call from now until Thursday. So Perfect. 20% off. We've got some rooms left, especially Friday night. Uh -huh. um, some onesies, as they call them, but um, we do have some rooms left for Bayfest. Perfect. Perfect. And then, you know, if you have a few adult beverages or even one adult beverage, you won't have to get on the road. You can take the wave, as Barbara Drummond mentioned, go over to the Civic Center. Pretty much walking, you can walk from anywhere downtown to Fort We're Fort in Condian. the heart of downtown, so you can walk to, you know, the Crescent Theater, yeah. the Royal Scam, all different places to eat, you know, shop, all the different things you can do in downtown Mobile. Very close to everything. Perfect place to be this weekend after Bayfest. And it's so beautiful, as you just saw the pictures. Can't wait to go inside and see it myself and see the remodeled version. Some great food, and we're going to talk about some of these desserts when we come back. These all look fantastic, too. And I want to taste this. And wait, you mentioned some potatoes on the side, too, right, yeah. Robbie? I've got roasted potatoes that I put on it. Uh, or you can get a, uh, we also, uh, I do a uh, Gouda roasted garlic and Gouda cheese grit. Uh -huh. in the morning and so oh. either potatoes or grits in the morning whatever I serve I mean because uh, our menu it's just a guide and uh, I can create or cook anything you'd like on there as long hey. as I got it in the refrigerator I'll do it sounds good mm -hmm. alright so as I mentioned Joe's gonna let you know about all these different desserts that look so fabulous in just a few minutes Back in our Studio 10 kitchen from the fellows with the Fort Condi Inn. We are working on Seafood Eggs Benedict this morning. That's what we made for you throughout the show. We can take a look at the finished product there. For those who missed it, just tell us a little bit about what went into that, Robbie. Okay. Well, I griddled an English muffin. Uh, I griddled the uh, asparagus. Mm -hmm. It has a, uh, a lightly poached egg on it, and then it has a uh, seafood sherry cream sauce mm. that goes across the top of it, and that has crawfish and... Uh, shrimp and it's all you know gulf seafood uh nothing imported or anything like that <laughs> and then uh but uh and then i uh, put griddled uh potatoes with it that always makes it the best when it's nothing imported when it's that fresh gulf seafood oh, yeah. that is the best you can do now i'm sorry but i've been eyeing this over here and we want to talk about your fantastic dessert displays and i this one just happens to have a fork with it so if you don't mind i'm going to try some of this out sure. while i do that fellas tell us about all these desserts we have here okay well you're sampling the uh, uh blueberry cheesecake right now mm. it's got a uh, it's got fresh blueberries uh mascarpone cheese and uh cream cheese and then it's topped with a uh blueberry compote on top of it it is delicious. So good. Tell us about the other ones. Okay. Well, this is a, uh, a southern pie. It's a uh, cornmeal custard, and it's actually made with, it's called a chess pie, and it's made with cornmeal and vinegar and eggs. And then uh, you've got a, uh, a caramel flan with the uh, burnt butter uh, sugar 
topping on top of it. Now, Alan, you and I were talking, we've never had this before, so that's kind of a thing that maybe, maybe not a lot of people have tried out before. So that's what you bring to the table, some new things as well. Yeah, it's a southern thing. I, I had that recipe, a, a lady that I used to cook for, she gave it to me probably in 1990. So, okay. And uh, then uh, everybody gets fresh fruit in the morning and uh, whatever is the prettiest and the freshest that I can find. And if you stay at the Ford Condi Inn, you can also accommodate any dietary need as well. Correct. Uh, if you're on a, a, a gluten-free diet or, you you know, anything you want, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I can alter anything because uh, our menu, uh, I can alter it because uh, nothing's written in stone and, mm -hmm. you know, I can delete the flour. Uh, some people don't like eggs, um, you know. We accommodate our guests any way that we can. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Accommodating your guests any way you can, but also you don't have to be a guest to enjoy all this fantastic food. That's the main thing we've been talking about this morning. Brunch is now open to the public. One more time, when is that going to be, Alan? Uh, first grand opening will be next Sunday, October 13th from 11 to 2. You do have to have reservations. You can call us at 251-405. 5040 and always check out our website at fortcondien.com and like I mentioned the Bayfest special between now and tomorrow 20 percent off if you call and book with us and stay with us during Bayfest this coming weekend. You don't have to drive back and forth to your house or wherever you're staying you can stay right downtown in the heart of it all and enjoy Bayfest and a fantastic hotel as well. All right guys thank you so much for coming in I guess I'm probably gonna have to take one more bite of this before we go sounds like a plan. Yes, that, sir. Well, it's the plan because that's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.